Hi, I'm Daz. I uh, went to use my spectrum analyzer, and uh, although there's some lights on, on the logic, there's no display. And uh, just looking in this wonderful amount of plumbing and electronics, the uh, power status is showing red. And indeed, having a look at the voltages, I appear to have a missing minus 15 and plus 15. So, looks like there's been a power supply failure, but uh, whether that's caused by something else shortening the power supply out, I don't know at this time, but looks like this is going to be a little bit of fun. I'm just doing some simple ohmmeter tests across the test points of the power supply and already I can see that there's a fairly low resistance across the minus 15. That's just one ohm. Just switch it to the plus 15 and again yeah pretty low resistance there so it is possible it's not the power supply there's actually a short. Now a friend of mine um, had one of these and he said that it had a, a tendency for tantiums to go short so the other thing might be to do is pull each board out in turn and see when the short circuit disappears that's another possibility I guess there's a lot of boards to keep pulling out but uh, that might be a quick way to find the problem I uh, decided it'd be a good idea to pull this power connector and that made no difference but looking at the cards with tantiums on I've just pulled this card which is the vertical digital storage and now we've got 134 ohms so um, that's looking promising let's just hope that it's tents and not some hard to replace components on this PCB I don't have exactly the right value of tantium but it's adequate voltage and it's uh, within 20% so we'll give that a go now I've replaced it and hopefully the power supply has not blown a fuse or something I've removed the power supply from the uh, unit and then discovered I didn't actually need to um, I need to change a fuse and there's a cover on the top here that uh, labels you to get at the fuses. Um, another example of uh, not reading the manual I guess. There's a ribbon cable and an RF connector um, that goes into there. i can just get the camera angle right. Oh there it is and the uh, power ribbon connector goes in there there's a little fold up uh, clip there and it's easy if you take the board out next to it so that you can take the clip out these four screws at the rear is how I've slid the cover off now once you've undone them, you can slide the cover off and you can see I've got it on the bench. You've got to be so careful because all the solid coaxials are behind here and when I've had this to part before, it's very, very easy to uh, catch them. So be very, very careful when sliding the lid off. It's very heavy and very awkward. Good. <laughs> Just a note here. When you're probing the voltages and it's late at night and you're tired, it's rather easy to push the probes a little too far and cause a short. That's how I blew the 100 volt fuse. Um, so when probing the voltages, be very, very careful. You don't push the probes too far or put some tape around them. But uh, I ended up having to change a second tantium, but what I think I'm gonna do to get hold of some more tantiums and perhaps do some recapping but at the moment it looks 
looks like we're operational again. <laughs> 